Hi friends, during this kind of crisis, we always look for investments which gives us guaranteed returns. But unfortunately, we have seen such a huge crisis in the stock market. Stock market has come down by anywhere between 25 to 30 percent. Even debt funds have collapsed. Even after seeing all these things, people are not really ready to go for you know such risky investments. We are now looking for safe investments. Here are some banks who claim that they are offering 9.5% interest on FD, fixed deposits. So which are these banks who are offering 9.5% interest and should you really go for these banks? Is it safe to invest in these banks? I've got answers for all your questions in this video. So let's start. Before we start, in case if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button now and also hit the bell icon to enable notifications and please share this video with your friends and family. So who are those banks who offer you 9.5% interest on fixed deposit? Starting with number one, it is FinCare Small Finance Bank. As you know, RBI issued Small Finance Bank license to many banks so one of those uh, small finance bank is fincare small finance bank and they offer 9.5 percent interest on fixed deposit if you make an fd for anywhere between 36 months to 42 months and uh, this is for senior citizens if you're aged above 60 if you're aged below 60 nothing to worry you're going to get nine percent interest this is still the best out of every other option we've got because EPF is 8.6%, 9% for below 60 and 9.5% per senior citizens is amazing. But then, is it safe to invest? Is this bank credible enough? I'm going to tell you all that towards the end of this video. So please continue. Let's look at the second bank which is offering you know, um, uh, higher interest. It is Utkarsh Small Finance Bank they are offering 9.5% interest for senior citizens if you make an FD for 777, triple seven, seven, 777 days. Uh, they are offering 9.5% interest and for others they are offering 9% interest for 777 days, for 777 days, right? And, and uh, the third one is Suryoda Small Finance Bank. Suryoda Small Finance Bank is offering 9.25% interest for 5-year tenure for senior citizens. And for others, for 5-year tenure, they are offering 9% interest. Equita Small Finance Bank, that's the fourth one, which is offering 8.6% interest for 888 days. 888 days for senior citizens and for others for 888 days they are offering 8% interest and then there is something called ESOF small finance bank that is ESAF as you see on the screen ESOF small finance bank they are offering 8.5% interest for tenure between 365 days to 721, uh, 727 days 8.5% for senior citizens and 8% for others that's the fifth bank then the sixth one is Ujjivan Small Finance Bank. Ujjivan Small Finance Bank is offering 8.6% uh, interest for senior citizens for 799 days. And for others, they are offering 8.1% for 799 days. Then the last one, Bajaj Finso, they are offering 8.05% interest for senior citizens for anywhere between four to five year tenure and 7.8 percent for others so which means these are seven banks and Bajaj FinServ is a fin NBFC non-banking finance corporation they are offering these kind of interest rates now if you go to any other normal banks and make an FD you may get six percent seven percent stock market is in a bad shape so because of that if you go to these seven places it's safe how do I know whether it's safe? To know whether the bank is safe or not, I'm going to give you five parameters. If you compare these five parameters, you will be able to make a decision whether it is safe to invest here or not. What are those? Number one, you should look at. Number one, very important. You should look at their 
statutory liquidity ratio slr the slr as per rbi it has to be 8 now most of the banks have to maintain at least 10 12 some banks have 12 13 but these small banks i suggest them to have upwards of 13 14 so look for that slr of at least 13 14 and above number two you should check is their gross npa the gross npa the gross non-performing asset should be less than three worst case four some banks have more than that more than three is not ideal is what i suggest fourth net npa net npa should be less than two that's ideal look for anything below two two percent fourth one check banks profit is this bank is in, in profit or loss if a bank is in loss which means they would be eventually consuming our money or they are not able to recover so they may have various issues check whether the bank is posting profit or loss periodically every quarter every year whether they are publishing profit or loss that's also very important they should be making profit and the fifth one in case if it is a listed bank please check whether there is too much of volatility in the share price if it is volatile why is there a problem in the bank what is the reason and also look for the promoters who are these promoters are they causing any damage to the bank are they involved in any kind of you know uh, fraudulent activities in the past check for these things so what i'm going to do now to assist you i will make a video on each of these banks I will come up come up to you with the complete data on each of these banks and then you can make a decision whether it is good to go with Fincare Small Finance Bank or Utkarsh Small Finance Bank, Suryodha Small Finance Bank or Equita Small Finance, Aesop Small Finance Bank, Ujjivan Small Finance Bank or Bajaj Finsa. You will get to know in detail in my next video i'm going to make each video very detailed so that you will not make mistake in investing in these banks right that is very important also in case if you have not yet subscribed to our financial freedom app please do it now please download the financial freedom app this app is going to teach you everything you have not learned from any school or college or university this app is going to give you all that you need to learn about personal finance financial management about money money management about stock market mutual funds we have very detailed very very interesting modules designed on each of these concepts the financial freedom app is a course you know has a course called financial freedom course which is a course designed based on the research we conducted by meeting various rich millionaires billionaires so you should use that app and that will change your life, that will change the fortune, that will change your fortune. I've given the link to both Android and iOS in the description box. Please download now and start your journey to become rich. I'll be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching. Be wise, get rich.